Have you ever wondered what life was like in the Wild West? Let's saddle up and ride back in time to a world where law and order were often dictated by the quickest draw. This era of American history, spanning the late 18th to early 20th centuries, was marked by exploration, opportunity, and conflict. It's a time that still captivates our imagination, filled with tales of cowboys, outlaws, and pioneers braving the vast, untamed wilderness. Now let's rein in our horses at a place that epitomized the spirit of the Wild West, Dodge City, Kansas. Nestled deep in the heart of America, this little city earned itself a big reputation and an even bigger moniker, the wickedest little city in America. But what made Dodge City so wicked? Well, it was a place where lawlessness was the norm, where cowboys and gunslingers roamed the streets, and where disputes were often settled not in courtrooms, but in gunfights. Dodge City was a frontier town in the truest sense, a hub of activity teeming with saloons, gambling halls, and dance houses. It was a city that never slept, where the clink of poker chips and the crack of gunfire were as common as the chirping of crickets in the night. Despite its reputation, Dodge City was more than just a playground for outlaws and fortune seekers. It served as a vital trading post in Cattletown, a beacon of civilization amidst the wild prairie. Its strategic location along the Santa Fe Trail made it a crossroads of cultures where countless stories were written and legends were born. And it wasn't just the city that was wild, but the men who called it home. Cowboys from Texas, ranchers from New Mexico, miners from California. They all converged here, drawn by the allure of adventure and the promise of fortune. They were the heart and soul of Dodge City, the living embodiment of the Wild West spirit. So, hold on to your hats, folks, as we delve deeper into the untamed Wild West, a place where danger lurked around every corner and where every man and woman had a story to tell. Cowboys from all over would gather here, seeking their share of adventure and fortune. One of the most notorious figures in Dodge City's history was Wyatt Earp, the legendary lawman. A name that rings with the echo of spurs and gunshots, Earp became the police officer from 1876 through 1877, and then the assistant city marshal of Dodge City in the year 1877 through 1879. He was both a lawman and gambler. His tenure was marked by a strict enforcement of the law, a beacon of order in a land often swathed in chaos. For decades, Dodge City was a hotbed of lawlessness. Amidst the dust and tumbleweeds, a cowboy's life often hung by the threat of a trigger. Yet when Earp arrived, he brought with him a new kind of justice. His approach was simple, maintain law and order at all costs, even if it meant facing the barrel of a gun. Earp was no stranger to danger. He was a veteran of many gunfights. His reputation built on a foundation of iron will and a steady hand. His fearless determination to uphold the law transformed Dodge City. Earp initiated a deadline north of the railroad yards on Front Street to keep the commercial part of the city quiet. On the north side, the city passed an ordinance that guns could not be worn or carried. On the south side of the deadline, those who supported the lawlessness continued to operate as usual, with a host of saloons, brothels, and frequent gunfights. The expression, Red Light District, was coined in Dodge City when the trainmasters took their red caboose lanterns with them when they visited the town's brothels. The gun-toting rule was in effect around the clock, and anyone wearing a gun was immediately jailed. Soon Dodge City's jail was filled. Under his watch, the citizens of Dodge City could walk the streets with a newfound sense of security, the shadow of lawlessness gradually receding with each passing day. However, the gun smoke hadn't completely cleared. Gunfights were still a common occurrence in Dodge City, even under Earp's stern watch. One of the most famous of these confrontations took place at the Long Branch Saloon. The air was thick with tension, the silence only broken by the occasional clinking of glass and the ominous creaking of the saloon doors. As the dust settled following that fateful shootout, only one man emerged from the haze, unscathed with only a scratch on his hand. The lone survivor of that showdown was a man named Frank Loving, who, who was jailed, and after a coroner's inquest ruling that the killing was in self-defense, he was immediately released. After his release, Loving would move on to another lawless town, Las Vegas, New Mexico. This gunfight and the names of Levi Richardson and Frank Loving would forever be intertwined in the history Dodge City. Dodge City wasn't just about outlaws and lawmen, it was a thriving community with its own unique culture. This statement might shatter some preconceptions about the life in this notorious Wild West town. 
Yes, Dodge City was indeed a hub of lawlessness and gunfights, but it was also a place where the arts and entertainment flourished. It was a city that danced to its own tune and painted its own picture of the West. The theaters of Dodge City were a testament to the city's cultural diversity. Playhouses would echo with the sounds of Shakespearean dramas, passionate operas, and lively vaudeville shows. It was here that the rugged cowboys would hang up their hats for a night and immerse themselves in the magic of the stage. The most famous theaters in town was the Comique and Variety Theater, which brought an eclectic mix of performances from highbrow dramas to raucous comedy shows. Then there were the opera houses, grand and majestic. They stood as cultural pillars amidst the dusty streets of Dodge City. The opera was a place where the high society of the Wild West would gather, decked out in their finest attire. The voices of the performers would soar above the clink of champagne glasses, creating a symphony of cultured entertainment that was a stark contrast to the gunfights that dominated the city's reputation. So you see, Dodge City was more than just a stage for outlaws and lawmen. It was a vibrant, diverse, and culturally rich community. It was a place where the Wild West met the arts, where the rough met the refined. But as time went on, Dodge City's wild reputation began to fade. The city would continue to evolve, leaving behind a history that was as vibrant and colorful as the characters that once roamed its streets. The railroad brought progress and development, and the lawlessness of the West slowly became a thing of the past. As the tracks of the Iron Horse crept ever closer, the wild heart of Dodge City began to beat to a different drum. The sounds of gunfire and raucous laughter gave way to the chugging of locomotives and the bustle of industrious activity. The arrival of the railroad heralded a new era as the city was thrust into the throes of progress. The rugged cowboys and notorious outlaws began to fade into the shadows, their stories of lawlessness and daring escapades gradually replaced by tales of prosperity and growth. The city's reputation as the wickedest little city in America began to wane, replaced by an image of a thriving hub of commerce and opportunity. New faces began to fill the streets of Dodge City. Entrepreneurs, tradesmen, and families seeking a better life flocked to the city, drawn by the promise of stability and growth. The once lawless frontier town started to resemble a modern city, with its own laws, institutions, and a sense of community that had been absent in its earlier years. Yet amid this transformation, Dodge City never truly lost its Wild West spirit. The city underwent a metamorphosis, but the heart of the old Dodge City still beat strongly beneath the surface. The memory of Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, Bat Masterson, and the countless others who walked these streets did not fade. Instead, their legends became woven into the very fabric of the city, a testament to its wild and untamed past. The Dodge City of today is a charming blend of the old and the new. The city has embraced progress and development, yet it has also stayed true to its roots. It has managed to preserve its Wild West heritage, ensuring that the spirit of the untamed frontier lives on. The stories of the past still echo through the streets, a constant reminder of the city's colorful history. Today, Dodge City is a charming town that preserves its Wild West heritage. It stands as a testament to the transformative power of progress and a beacon of the indomitable spirit of the Wild West. Visitors can explore the Boot Hill Museum, which showcases the city's history through interactive exhibits and reenactments. Fast forward to the present day, Dodge City, Kansas, has managed to keep the spirit of the Wild West alive while also embracing the modern world. The city has grown over time, but it still cherishes its roots, and you can feel the echoes of the past in its streets. One of the city's most popular attractions is the Boot Hill Museum, a place where history comes alive. Named after the hill where outlaws were laid to rest, this museum offers an immersive experience that takes you back to the 1870s. Here, you can explore authentic artifacts, witness reenactments, and even enjoy a sarsaparilla at the recreated Long Branch Saloon. But that's not all Dodge City has to offer. The city is dotted with historical markers, each telling a story of the past. You can visit the old Fort Dodge, which once served as a major defense post, or take a stroll down Front Street, where the city's first businesses were established. And if you're a fan of cowboy culture, you'd love the annual Dodge City Days Festival. This 10-day event is a celebration of the city's western heritage, featuring rodeos, parades, and even a longhorn cattle drive. It's an experience that truly captures the heart and soul of the Wild West. Today, Dodge City is more than just a relic of the past. 
It's a living testament to a time of lawmen and outlaws, of adventure and discovery. It's a place where history is not just remembered, but celebrated. Thanks for watching our journey through the untamed wild west of Dodge City. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures. Until next time, happy trails.